Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about something that's actually quite simple, uh, but I've seen people make mistakes before in the past that has quite serious implications for the results uh, of your analysis. And uh, I'm referring to the various ways that a person can go about calculating an average or a composite score across columns uh, of your data. Uh, so in this case, I've got a very, very simple data set where I've got five items, uh, one to five uh, outlined here, and I've only got two rows of data. Uh, and they're all ones except for the one exception is there's a missing data point here. And it's just a, a period. I don't have a missing, I haven't uh, coded this as a missing uh, value. I've just left it blank. And, and uh, this is quite common to get data this way if you are um, uh, exporting data from an online service or, or, some, or some kind of format uh, that uh, doesn't, isn't sophisticated enough to specify missing values. So if you wanted to calculate the average of these scores across the five items, uh, in my opinion, the way the most novice person would do it typically is, and I'll guide your attention to this section right here, is they'll add the items together. They'll, f they'll actually do the arithmetic, you know, very basically without using any functions in SPSS. So they'll just go Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 plus Q5. They'll put that in parentheses and then they'll divide by five. And that'll give a value. Now let's look at what SPSS does that in, does in this case. All right. So I've called it add and then divide. That's the name of the uh, process uh, and what it does is as soon as it hits a missing value it doesn't calculate anything for that person and it cal calculates a one here uh, so uh, I'm just pointing out this is what it does when you do the when you do, do the arithmetic from the ground up in SPSS uh, and you're adding something and dividing it just skips the missing values and it'll give it, it'll give it a zero now a slightly more sophisticated way of calculating um, averages in SPSS by using a function is to use the sum function and then divide by five rather than adding the pluses between the items. Now I see this very commonly. What happens when you do this? Let's check it out. What we get is a different uh, answer to well the answer is the answer is the same it's just that it gave a different re, uh, output uh, in this case the answer for the the bottom row is one but the average it's calculated is 0.8 and so what it's done is it's summed across all five items and then because you specified divide by five it's doing so and because four divided by five is 0.8 that's the answer you get so that's a different result to the add then divide uh, approach now the last uh, approach I'm going to talk about in this short tutorial is using the mean function. So it's similar to sum uh, in that there's no pluses between the uh, items that you're uh, putting in your parentheses, but there's no divisor. And what mean does, well actually let's see what it does. Let's calculate it when you do it this way. We actually get the one. Uh, so in this case, what it's doing is that it's, it is summing across all five items, but then it divides by the number of actual observed uh, data points in this row. So that's why you get the same answer for both one and two, is because f four divided by four is one, and five divided by five is one. This is a very useful feature in cases where you just want to have an average based on the number of observed uh, variables. And my hunch is a lot of people don't really know about the, the mean function. And my other hunch is that a lot of people don't know the difference between using a sum function and using the addition, uh, using the plus sign across items. And you can get, you get th three different results using arguably very similar, uh, ar arguably uh, three approaches to adding variables that I think a lot of people would say, well, I'll get the same answer three, all three ways. You don't. You get three different answers. And uh, this is a very easy way to make mistakes in research or analyzing data. I think the key point is to know that there are three basic ways to calculate averages. Uh, there are probably other ways that um, can be done. These are the three main ones I see. Uh, so it's very important to realize that uh, they're doing three different things. And they could be useful in, in uh, 
each one could be useful depending on the circumstance that um, that you're in. All right, thanks for watching this video.